G Dog, do you want some wild garlic naan? Oh, I'd love some wild garlic naan. Let's do it. <laughs> So guys, we are currently in the woods at Ash Farm where we're staying. Oh man, we are so blessed to have this woodland around. We've been told we're allowed to forage for wood for the fire, but also to forage for the woodland goodies. And as you can see here, as far as the eye can see, there is wild garlic. So we're gonna collect some and we're gonna make some amazing dishes with the wild garlic. I mean that, that's, that's beautiful, isn't it? Now you use some of that in cooking, you fry that up. It's just a beautiful thing. Alright guys, we're going to make some simple, quick naans, very simple ingredients, and we're going to cook them directly in the embers. It's going to be really, what was that word we were using the other day? Primitive. So you want some Greek yogurt, yeah? In the bowl. Flour. Nice bread flour, strong flour, like me. Similar amount of flour to the old uh, yogurt, you know what I mean? Some yeast. Well, I don't know, like a teaspoon here. Some sweetener, sugar, one more coconut. Bit of salt, teaspoonish. Olive oil. Wash your hands and then mix. Let me get my hands in there. Let me get them. Real mucky. Oh. Even smells good because it's going to be so fatty because you've got like full fat yogurt in there, you've got olive oil in there, you've got sugar in there. It's just. Indulgent. It's gonna be so nice and that's gonna just caramelize beautifully on the fire. And then with our foraged wild garlic, we'll make a wild garlic butter that will then slather onto the cooked hot naan breads. Oh, this is how I'm floating my back. I might have to sit down. If you wanna give it a good knead, but that'll do, get it into a nice ball. I'm gonna cover that and leave that somewhere warm-ish. You know, just the warmest room in your house or whatever. About an hour and a half. Put it to bed.
Fucking heck, James, that looks gorgeous. 